We are at the Bilderberg event 2011 and we are with Cody who is actually, it seems like he's a supporter of Ron Paul in 2012. Uh, how does that connect uh, the Bilderberg and Ron Paul election together? What do you think is the connection there? Um, well, I'm sure that his name has come up inside uh, more than once. It's quite clear now, I think, that he's uh, gaining more and more support and that he's bringing up the real issues behind a lot of the uh, sort of false left-right issues that they, they've made for everybody, Republicans and Democrats. He's a Republican, but he just ha you have to choose one side to, to get any chance at all to receive any support. Um, as far as what they think about what's going on now, I'm not sure. I know that right now he, they are currently uh, in America trying to redistrict him, which I just learned about, but basically that would make it much harder for him to, to run. Right. So he would lose a lot of his constituency. So that's a pretty dirty trick. Um, it doesn't surprise me. Right. And, you know, I, I really don't know what you could say is a direct connection between Ron Paul and the Bilderberg Group other than that Ron Paul is really uh, attacking the institutions like the Federal Reserve and the World Bank and the military industrial complex which you have all the representatives there basically yeah and so um, that's why I said I'm certain that his name and the issue of what are we going to do about this Ron Paul guy has come up more than once it's clear that he's a, a thorn in their side and he just continues to gain more and more support which I'm really happy about. I worked for his campaign in 2008 and uh, that really opened my eyes to, to how the, the system operates politically in America. It's right. quite different from the way they say it is. So. All right. I've been speaking with Cody. Thank you very much for, for interview. Uh, this is Vitevlička for the Global Freedom Report. Mm -hmm.